Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. You know what I thought about? Uh, Brother Sylvester called, and he wants prayer. We're going to pray for Brother Sylvester. We're so thankful, Brother, you're tuned in. Father God, Lord, in Jesus' name, you can meet every need according to your riches and mercy and grace and love and favor. Lord, for Brother Sylvester today, Lord, he called by faith today. And, Lord, we make sure to give you all the praise and all the glory in Jesus' mighty name. You know, I'm glad we can pray. And I'm reminded of in the book of Matthew, the fourth chapter, when Jesus was led of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. The devil come unto him, the tempter come unto him, and said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. Jesus spoke back to him. He said, It is written that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth from the mouth of God. There's some things the devil don't want you to know today. And one thing in particular is the Word of God. He don't want you to know the Word. He wants to keep you as far away from God's Holy Bible, from the text of heaven as he possibly can because he don't want you to know about faith. He don't want you to know about believing. He don't want you to know about the promises of God. Thank God. But amen, we can know these things today. Amen. Just like Brother Kim was standing here and he was preaching the gospel. Amen. The devil don't want you to know the gospel today because you'll find every answer that you could ever need within the pages of the gospel. Amen. He don't want you to know about deliverance. He don't want you to know anything about salvation. He don't want you to know. Praise God. But you got to get in there. You got to study. You got to read. You got to consume the word of God and get it way down deep into your heart and life and soul and not just hear it. Act on it. Do it. My God. Amen. It's not the hearer, but it's the doer. Amen. But there's some things the devil just don't want you to know about. He don't want you to know what prayer can do. Oh, there's power in prayer. Thank God Jesus prayed till the sweat fell out as great drops of blood when he was on oh, the Mount of Olives. Why, many countless times you'll hear about Jesus praying. He prayed to the Father. Oh, continuously praying, praying to the Father. He don't want you to know what prayer can do today. Hey Amen. There's power. The devil don't want you to know we've got power over him through and by Jesus, that Jesus has given us the power uh, to tread upon serpents and scorpions and all the powers of the enemy. The devil don't want you to know the truth of God. <laughs> Amen. That's why that so many people don't know the word of God because the devil don't want them to know it. Amen. He wants to keep them far away. See, the devil don't care if you go to church, and sing some songs, clap some hands, shake some hands, and go home. He don't want you to get close to God. <laughs> How can we get close? close to God through and by his word knowing who he is amen knowing his will for our life you will find it in the pages of the holy gospel that's the only place you'll find it you won't find it from grandma you won't find it from papa you won't find it from me <laughs> brother you'll find it from the holy word of God <laughs> and the devil don't want you to know it but amen we've come today to tell you what the devil don't want you to know is that Jesus loves you he died for you he made a he give us his word he give us his instruction <laughs> we don't have to go through this life wondering and, and worrying and, and, and thinking and, and think well is this God's will for my life he will show you his will within them pages <laughs> Start flipping them. Start reading them. <laughs> Thank God, consume the word. Sister Brenda, I'm glad to be here this morning. I'm going to turn it over to you, but I thank God for the word of God. Hallelujah. I thank God that his, we're begotten by his word. Hey Amen. Oh, you know what Paul told Timothy? I charge thee, Timothy, preach the gospel. Preach the word. Study to show thyself approved, a workman unto God that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. That's where it comes from, brother. That's our power. That's our direction is the word of God. Sister Amen. Brenda. Amen, Brother Jonathan.